World Baseball Classic, what a tournament. The New Marlins were out in full force. Johnny Cueto had the start against Puerto Rico. He strikes out their leadoff man in three pitches, and he's feeling pretty good about his command. What's fun about Cueto is he does this little leg kick to mess with the hitter's timing, and then sometimes he'll just speed it up and go right into the pitch. This helps him because he's getting a little older, can't throw it like he used to, and he needs all the tricks he can get. Here's when he gets a big wind up and then snags the strikeout right on the outside corner. A beautiful fastball. The stanky leg was working for him well, but but then as he got to the third, he started missing his spots. You see, that's two fastballs up. He doesn't get the call, shakes off the sign, and then bam, hangs a fastball a little bit in there, and that's a home run. That's gonna, that's gonna sting. You can't have a 90 mile per hour fastball in the zone like that for a professional hitter. After this, he allows some walks and they take him out. A lot of those runs end up scoring and pretty much played a big part in the game. So I, I think this gives us good insight into Cueto. When the fastball is there and the funk is working for him, I think he will be an effective pitcher, but he's been struggling in spring training and you have to worry about his longevity and endurance if he could get five innings every night. But when the fastball is there, he's he's a force to be reckoned with. In terms of offense, we had this nice walk-off hit from uh, Gene Segura. He only had two at-bats, but one of them was this nice victory screech comes in with the rock and roll. The Marlins were terrible with runners in scoring position and clutch moments, and I do think it's encouraging to see him come in pinch hit and still be able to snake a double over there. So we'll have to keep our eyes on Segura. And then of course the big man, Luis Arise. He, against all odds, hit two homers. Here's one fastball up in the zone, slides it over the right field wall. The crowd's going nuts. He's got the bunny hop here and then sort of puts his head down. Looks like he's, you know, he's saying low or something, or maybe he's getting his balance there as he runs back to home. But then the whole team does the low gesture. So stay low because we're above you. Like you are lower than us and we are higher than you. Who knows what he's saying? He comes up again in the seventh, hits another one, same sort of high fastball and knocks it right off the pole, which is always exciting. This time bangs the chest blows a little kiss, and then pumping up the crowd in a major way, runs back, and they do the same sort of low to high celebration. Of course, we all know how the game ended. Big USA victory, Trey Turner playing out of his mind. But still, to see Luis hitting like this, he's normally just a contact man, slapping singles and doubles. But to see him comfortable hitting home runs in Lone Depot Park like this, if he could somehow find a way to keep this up, hit 15 20 homers? I mean, this would be huge. Imagine he hits 20 homers and Garcia turns into an actual baseball player and Jazz has a great year. I mean, th who knows? Th things could happen. Let us know how you feel about these new Marlins. If you think they're good signings, you think they're going to perform well, and we've got opening day right around the corner. I'll be there. Come say hello.